Okay, so now I've moved a slightly bit further in my animation and I'm just going to play it for you where or what is happening now. So what I've done is, I'm going to stop this. I have opened up a new project. I have imported a MP3, a PSD, a JPEG, and a AI file. I have made a new composition and I have brought in this JPEG. I'll zoom out so you can see it. That's the what's working as the initial focus of the illustration. I've also got a file that I made in Illustrator of some vector-based objects and paths with fills inside and a transparent background. And what I've done on the timeline or in that comp is I have slowly revealed from a shape layer of purple. You can see that's a rectangle. I have revealed I'm going to change that to blue. Let's see. Oh, well, she comes into play. We've got the animation, the pin puppet warp, pin based puppet warp based illustration on those objects. If you've ever, if you've spent any time in Photoshop um, doing any kind of um, image editing, you probably have run into the puppet warp before. So the puppet warp works with a mesh. You put pins into the areas that you want to remain stable, you move or put pins and move those areas that you don't want to remain stable. And it's such a great way of creating animation. It's a great way of making people squished and stretched and skinny and bigger in areas and moving people's uh, eyes around, etc. In Photoshop, but in, in After Effects, it's a great way to create animation, so that was in part one. So these little dancing, dancing um, ferns. What I've done here is I brought in my image again, right? So there's another image on top. So I've got my girl bow and girl bow. I've eliminated in the timeline some of the extended areas where the girl. Um, the, the, the first girl was playing and I've just added another just a smaller a smaller view of her so it just jumps like a jump cut from one I mean, it's, it's from one um, aspect of her to another and I've added two more of the same layer of leaves so I went through the business of animating this layer and that is this guy here right that's the leaf layer or the leaves layer and because they were animated already I pressed command D just to create another leaf layer so I'll just move this one off to the side so you can see how easy that is so now I've got all of these animated so I've pulled closed the clips by clicking and dragging and I've added those two other animated leaf AIs and I just move them right from here to further on in the in the timeline and I've made them larger so I have used the drop down for them and I've got both selected both of those leaves dot AI file selected and I changed the scale so you can see now both are make are getting larger so both are getting larger here what is happening and of course they'll redraw themselves and look a little bit better but that might be a little bit too large for them so you can see they get a little bit fuzzy in any case I have redrawn them or sorry I haven't redrawn them I've, I've made them uh, or duplicated them command D and now I am going to animate them or just kind of not really animate them, but have them transition from 0 to 100 in the timeline. So they're not going to show up immediately when the frame changes. Click. They are going to slowly appear. And I just want to show you this because I want to show you that you can change any one of those transformations. You can change two or more layers at once. 
So here I have leaves A, I, and leaves A, I both selected. So they're used twice. I have them selected. So you can see that I have now shift selecting both. Okay, here's one and here's the other. And I'm going to now take the opacity down both at the same time. Pretty cool that you don't have to change that for every single layer that you want it done um, in, that, in that layers panel. So here, they're going to transition in. After Effects is going to give me the keyframe. Right? It's going to make it for me. And now we can see that they are dancing. She's astonished. She starts to see them <laughs> in her dreams. I think she might disappear a little too quickly, so I might have to close these up and make sure that they both are staying on the screen. And here we are. What is happening? Okay, so that is animating at the same time two or more layers by clicking to select the layers. So I'll do that again. So I'm going to open one of them up, select both by shift selecting, and maybe I want them to um, get larger. So I will give myself a keyframe for scale. And then where the playhead is, I'm going to have these guys get larger and maybe rotate. So let's give myself a keyframe, move it back, and I'm going to change the rotation angle slightly here. And then maybe change it back. Okay, so I'm good to go with that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be pretty happy with that. I'm gonna close everything up and I'm just gonna show you one more thing. I'm going to drag and drop that MP3 file into my timeline and see how it goes. We'll see if we need to reposition this. things really quickly for your assignment four. So I suggest creating some content in Photoshop, in Illustrator, grabbing some mp3 files, maybe recording yourself, you don't have to go that far this time, and just start boogieing around with that stuff. So the Illustrator files obviously very important that they don't have a background because if we were to go into like the, the nitty-gritty of pinning parts, we want to have those shapes completely separate. So the reason that this worked so easily is because, and I'm just going to double click on that layer, um, it's because these guys are absolutely separate shapes. So they are created with the pen tool in Illustrator, the whole path from all of the outsides and ins and obviously you know they were duplicated one two three four five times one of the couple of the stems were taken off so they're pretty similar it's pretty simple pretty simple um, animation as well but hopefully that's enough to get you guys going I'm gonna output this one um, render it and upload the whole video to the 
canvas so that you can see part one and part two and then just proceed on your own. That's it. So that's what I'm going to leave you with today. Um, and that's that.